All right, here's a, another example where we're given something and we want to find all six trig functions. So since I'm given tangent, I know that one. And if I know tangent, I know cotangent because it's the reciprocal. I know secant. So I also know cosine. So the only ones that I have left are to find sin, uh, is to find sine and cosecant. A lot of different ways you can do this. I'm going to draw a triangle. I know that cosine is negative, so that means it's going to be in this quadrant or this quadrant. But tangent is positive, so that means it's in this third quadrant because the signs are both negative, which would make tangent positive. So it's got to be in the third quadrant. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a triangle in here. Notice I draw the reference angle. There's x. Cosine is negative 12 over 13. So the adjacent is negative 12, and the hypotenuse is 13. Now I have to find this side. So I'm going to do negative 12 squared. Plus, I don't know this side. I'm going to let it be y equals 13 squared. So I have 144 plus y squared equals 169. So y squared equals 25. So y equals 5. So this side is 5 units. And the 5, 12, 13, that's a Pythagorean triplet that you might have memorized. And since it's in this quadrant, sine is going to be negative. So sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so it's negative 5 thirteenths. And cosecant is going to be the reciprocal of that. So it's really helpful if you will draw your triangles. Um, if your triangle is in the first quadrant, it will look like this. If your tri triangle is in the second quadrant, it will look like this third quadrant like that, and fourth quadrant like this, just to give you a little hint.